hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i got this nice natural glam makeup look and i'm also going to be showing you how i got this cute hairstyle featuring cutie pie tresses this is something that i'd wear on a first date because it's so natural and so effortless so i've already done my eyebrows and i've applied my primer off camera and now i'm going to go in with my foundation this one is from the ordinary i'm going to apply two pumps of that on both sides of my cheek and then i'm just going to blend it out with a damp beauty blender all the products that i use in this tutorial will be in the description box below so if you're interested you can check them out So after I've finished blending out my foundation, it's time to highlight and contour. Here I'm using LA Girls Creamy Beige Concealer to highlight and then I'm going to go in with their concealer in the shade Espresso to contour. So again, I'm just taking a damp beauty blender and I'm just blending everything out and make sure that it's seamless and that it doesn't look harsh on my face because we don't want to be looking harsh, we want everything to be nice and blended. To set my face, I'm using Fenty Beauty's setting powder in the shade Honey. I'm just going to put that under my eyes, down my nose, on my forehead and a little bit on my chin and just below where I contoured. So to set all the areas that I've contoured, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Coco Naughty Bronzer. I really, really love this as a contour shade. It just works so well for my complexion and I love the warmth that it gives my face. If you're an oily babe like me, you're gonna need something strong to set your face. So here I'm using the Urban Decay All Night Is Setting Spray and then I like to go over it with a damp beauty blender and just pat it out to make sure that it looks seamless. So I went ahead and applied my mascara and my lipstick off camera and this is the final look. It's very natural and very chic. So now let's get on to the hair portion of the video. So as I'm doing a half up half down hairstyle, I sectioned the front portion of my hair into a little bun and I also went ahead and laid my edges. For the back portion, I got my mum to cane my hair down. Yeah, I know, your girl can't cane roll, so mama had to do it. I also got her to cane the leave out section that I'm going to use to blend the clippings with my natural hair. For this hairstyle, I'm using clippings by Cutie Pie Tresses. They were kind enough to gift me the hair and sponsor the video, so I want to thank them for that. This is actually my first time ever using clippings, so I was very, very excited to try them. So the hair that I received is their 20 inch curly clippings, and this was the standard set, which means it came with six pieces. So it was very very easy to achieve this hairstyle, all you had to do was pop open the little clips and then attach it to your hair making sure that it's secure because you don't want them to fall out your head when you're going about your business, especially if you're on a date, you don't want your clippings to be falling out. <laughs> So as I mentioned earlier, I got a standard set which contained six pieces and it actually wasn't enough for my full head which is why I had to do a half up, half down a hairstyle. If you have a bigger head than me or if you want to do a full look with clippings then I would recommend you get in the Dulux set which contains 10 pieces or you might need to buy it twice. It depends on the kind of look that you're going for. So apart from this curly hair texture that you see me installing in my hair, they also have a couple different textures because they know that we don't all have the same hair type. So they have the curly clippings, which is this one. They have the kinky clippings, which is suitable for somebody with the hair texture 3B to 4C. They also have a coily hair texture and a kinky blowout, which is great. I love the variety that they have and the fact that you can choose a different curl pattern if you like. The suitable one for me would have been the kinky, but I decided to get the curly and I made it work. I blended it together and it looked really, really nice in my hair. 
For the back portion of my hair, I used four out of six clippings and it literally took me a few minutes to clip them into my hair. And then I went ahead and just undid the leave out section that I'm gonna use to blend in with the clippings and actually cover my hair so you guys don't see that I'm wearing tracks and that it will look all natural and nice. Now let's move on to the front portion of my hair. I had two clippings left, so I took the smallest one. This one had three clippings on the weft, and I just opened them and attached them around the bun, well, at the root of the bun, as close as possible as I could get to the base of my hair. And then I went ahead and attached the second clipping and just made sure that it was secure on my hair and that it wasn't about to fall out. What I love about cutie pie tresses is the fact that they don't actually only do clippings, they also do wigs, weaves, closures and ponytails so you have choices and you can also get them in the same hair textures. All their hair are 100% human hair and you can wash them, dye them, condition them on all that good stuff which is great. Sometimes you need to just let the wigs rest and just get you some hair extensions because our edges need to breathe it's not everyday wigs and frontals caressing our edges i love me a hairstyle like this as well which is so easy to install you can literally do it in 10 minutes so at this point i realized that the hair didn't blend perfectly with my natural hair it doesn't look too bad on camera but because my hair was a little bit shorter or well not a little bit it was a lot shorter than the extensions I had to try and blend them to make it look just a lot nicer in person so I got my mom to actually twist my hair with the strands of the extensions to just make it blend by the time my mom finished this method of blending my natural hair with the clippings you couldn't tell where my hair ended and where the clippings began because it just looks so nice and so seamlessly blended together it was just so nice like i love the way it looks you guys see on the photographs if you've seen my instagram you can see you can't even tell this just looks like my hair it looks like it's growing out of my scalp honestly i could have left the hair how it was because the texture was so smooth and it was so soft and silky but i decided to add some mousse into the hair just to get the curl pattern a little bit more curly and just give it a little bit more bounciness when it comes to adding products into the hair, I have to make sure that I saturate it towards the end of the product so the end doesn't look trashy because that is not cute. I also added it to the little bit that I decided to leave out and then I just twisted it around my finger to give it a bit more curl just to get that curly definition. <laughs> you can see that I was really, really feeling this hair. I loved the way it looked. So to finish off, I added some hair oil. This is the Pantene Sleek and Smooth Oil. And this just gives it a bit of shine and just brings out the, the luxuriousness of the hair. I added it on both sides and also to the little leave out and the bun as well. I just made sure I tap it around the bun to give it a little bit of shine. And I really, really love the way it looked. It just looks so good and so natural. And I was just so happy. For the first time trying clippings, damn, just look at me. It just looks so good. Can you tell? Can you tell that this is clippings? Mm -mm, no, you can't because it looks really, really natural. So this is the look, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.